Hey guys, this is a subset of the Great Amalgamation, the wrestling fan subset. The Rogue Wizard Derek Raven, always with your wrestling know-how. You're alongside with me. Jordan. It's Jordan. So we're going to do two videos synchronized or something like that, words and stuff. What I'm going to do first, just in case nobody on the interwebs has, I'm going to show you all of the DLC for the DLC pack, the new one that came out. For WWE 13, the new moveset. They have one, like, they have a d DLC every month. Uh, this month was a couple new wrestlers who come with moves, and then a new move set also that came with uh, a few moves. All right. As you can see, I'm teamed up with Jordan. Our tag, or our, uh, this right here is one of them that obviously everybody's been looking forward yeah. to come back as a double team forever. Oh, I've, absolutely. All right, so special right here. We got the Usos, the Alley Us. I really enjoy this. As well. <laughs> You should enjoy this. Boom. Love it. Yeah. All right. So that was the Alias. This is the double super kick. Let's show it off one more time. I, I love how, I don't know, for some reason, the Usos, when they throw people, they throw them down. <laughs> like, have you noticed? One right here. Just, just chuck them. This one here. And these obviously come with the Usos as a download. Not yeah. This, this, this is, is part of the moves pack. That the you get, which 3D, is 3D. Which they call it for way the flapjack long. cutter, but it's the Dudley Death device. It's been missing for way too long from the double team list. Absolutely. We got the super kick pedigree. Pretty straightforward where this yeah. one comes from. from. The thing that I don't like about this is that he throws him into the super kick, and it's the super kick. You've seen people sell the super kick like mad. <laughs> yeah. And then like when he does it here, they he just like kind of – like what does he do? Just stick his foot out? It's like, no, like you actually see him kick back and actually do a, a, well, a kick. But for in real life, when they've done it, there's no Irish whip. It's a super kick, and the guy falls into it, which is a little bit more believable. But yeah, it's still. Yeah, still and then cool we got the Uso here. splash, which is not a finishing maneuver for them. It's just a regular move. Did you haven't noticed the Uzos basically have a full set of double teams just for them. Oh, sorry. Yeah, which is good. I mean, they're the, they're the tag team. And uh, we'll show you the Usos later on in another video here. And it's nothing special. It's just, you know, something I kind of synchronized their tag team. So when you watch them wrestle, you go, okay, mm -hmm. this is an actual tag team, not, you know. Two guys on a team. <laughs> yeah, not Team Hell No, Team Road Scholars, which I like as tag teams. But when you set them up, and then you're like, I'm going to be Team Edward, and it's, I'm going to be it's Team blind dating Flash Funk. It <laughs> it's blind dating, yeah. All right. uh, also, before we keep going, one of the big things that I really like is there's a lot of submissions. I like the Shining out. Wizard, for those yeah. who didn't know. <laughs> there's a lot of submissions that came out of this pack, and I think that's nice because I feel like they were lacking in that compared to anything else. Yeah, in the the breaking point submissions, yeah, you need they needed a lot more. I wish they would come up with some... From the from the back, because ever I, since two thousand and eight yeah, or two. whatever, that when they brought out that, you either do the full Nelson or you yeah, do the yeah. Cobra Clutch. Cobra yeah. and you get full Nelson. Like there's other things you can do. Hell, you can bring the uh, sleeper hold. <laughs> yeah, you, the sleeper the hold that they have. They have two of them from the front. They've got the uh, the abdominal stretch, mm -hmm. which like you can do from the back. Yeah, they they could just have the same moves at least. As Anyways, office. as we we go in here, so there's Air Pillman. Brian Pillman Another is part of the uh, DLC, and. Uh, I right. wish there was a little bit more impact. It doesn't look like there's enough impact to it, but I mean, it, it's still it's it's really nice. I wouldn't use it as a finisher, but I would use it just as a regular corner move. I love that the airplane spins in here. Um, I knew you would when I saw that. By the way, yeah. I love how, like in the way the guy taking it looks in this looks more real than in past games. Like he looks like he's legitimately getting airplane spun rather than just yeah. a character patch um, in there. I think it works the or, okay. It does work the body. Now, I can see why it would work the body but really, when you, that's a, that's when like you the throw them. Move, but, yeah. yeah, like, you would think that the head would get injured, too, because of that. And I've actually, when I've done the airplane spin, there's been people who have said that their arms hurt after it. But then again, I do the airplane spin, like, uber fast, and I do it for, like, five to six minutes while the people vomit. <laughs> people hate when I do that. All right. We remember the, the appealing elbow. Scott Forbes remembers the appealing elbow. <laughs> <laughs> the Avalanche Bulldog, which also came out in pack one. That was the, the original DLC. That was, uh, yeah, we're on the third one right now, right? Because there was the Yeah, one, I'm just was... showing them all off. Yep, no problem. Maybe if people haven't seen them, and now that they're all out. We got this, uh, this came out in the third pack. Nothing special, but it was, it's just a nice, you know, for maybe some of your cruiserweight guys that don't get a lot of options for, with the uh, upper head region. I do like the cockiness of this kip up. <laughs> um, it's uh, Scotty Too Hotty, I think this, or Grand, maybe Grandmaster Sexay, but it kind of looks like Scotty Too Hotty. I don't know if Grandmaster Sexay could kip up. 
backpack sure stunner. Could either. You can do the worm though. So. Or as as Ryback used to call it when he was good old Skip Shepfield, the <laughs> over the shoulder boulder holder or whatever. <laughs> I hated it. Um, Eddie Edwards does this move. I do this move. I love. I like the backpack stunner. Uh, Eddie Edwards calls, calls it the chin checker. So if anybody ever wants to do that move and then call it something better than either one of those, then you can go ahead and easy e. Obviously, we got the bonsai drop. Obviously, top of Derek's arsenal. And uh, <laughs> it doesn't show it, but it is a pinning possibility there. Uh, the stuff that you get when you get uh, Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson. Yeah. And he does have some, some decent... Actually, no, this one wasn't. This one was part of uh, the second pack, I think. I kind of think, yeah, it, it did come out later. It might even have been the new. I know. One. I think this is Ryback. Yeah, I think this is brand new. Yeah, this looks but like I, I a, a like Ryback that they maneuver. Have more st just straight up boxing stuff in here. Like thanks to Mike Tyson, I'm not really glad he's in the game for any yeah, other like reason. Yeah, like the the stuff like when they look too much like boxing maneuvers. But I'm not a big nice, fan of them. It's nice to have them in there to mix them, and I think they made yeah. it seem fairly fair. This was with the new one. Yeah, the uh, Brock Lock, obviously Brock Lesnar, and uh, they, they also call it the horse there, collar. Yeah. And uh, for anybody who's interested, you should throw it on Antonio Cesaro. I don't know if he has it in his arsenal, but Antonio, as Claudio Castagnoli, used to actually use this as a big move. I remember mm -hmm. he used it a lot during a match with Chris Hero and PWG. Chokehold. Choke I, like, I like the personality to it. It's it's like they already yeah. have basically. It almost move. looks like it almost looks like he's headbutting them, headbutting yeah. him there. But, like, but I, there's I, too much head bobbing. Well, I like that they, and it worked for me because a couple of my characters, it worked in the new DLC, they had a couple of moves that had a lot of personality to them. And, like, it, I, I hate when they do that in all the moves because you can't use moves that are just basic moves. But when there's just a couple in there that have it, it's really nice to be able to use them for yeah, certain people. Yeah, especially for certain characters, uh, mm -hmm. your, your AJs, your uh, Andy Kaufmans, <laughs> just, like, the people that are, aren't super technical but have that, that charisma. Mm-hmm. Um, Gangrels, I, I do, I, I really like the, the fluidity of when he spins with that. It just looks really nice. You could almost maybe get away with giving that to Damian Sandow because they don't have the, his elbow drop in here. I won't even begin to, to use the Latin term. I, I'm slightly disappointed that they put this in here. Um, this came in pack two and I do like this move, but why would they bother putting this in here? I understand why, because when you look at this, it's just elbow strikes, and then when you look at this, this is Kevin Nash's back elbows that he does, but there was really, I didn't see a reason to put two of them in there. I yeah. mean, I guess, like what you were saying, how it gives a personality. You can have two people in the same move and be distinctive, but yeah, but when they could have put something bitching in there instead, then, yeah. like, why'd they go with this? And then here are some corner head butts, which for certain characters would be really cool. These punches I thought are really nice. They did look nasty. Yeah, just cocking back. Here is Damian Sandow's cross arm or cross arm neck breaker. I didn't think they were actually gonna give him his own cross arm neck breaker. Because it looks so much similar to the one that's already in there. Really. But if you notice, he grabs the hands like the way that he grabs the hands and slowly tucks back, mm -hmm. gives a little jaunt. It is different, and I do I yeah I approve that they made their own. Just like they already had a cartwheel yeah. when they put it in the rotation of illumination. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Here's a curtain call. I don't think they called it that though. The rotation of illumination. No, they just call it Damian Sandow too. Stupid. Here's the uh, two cool punches. Here's some more two cool punches. I naturally have used all of on different characters by now. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> uh, the delayed butterfly suplex that uh, Matt Bloom or Giant Bernard or Albert or A Train or Prince Albert or Tensai yeah, or Lord all, Tensai, whatever. That all came out second in his pack, and he had a lot of good moves too. Oh yeah, I loved him, and uh, he had a sentan that we'll see that was very. It looked very much like okay, what I do. The delayed fisherman suplex. We think we can all agree is none of the things in its name. Yeah, it, there's really no delay to it, and there's no um, fisherman suplex. There's no involved. fisherman, and there's no suplex whatsoever. Um, it's a Samoan drop. It's modified. a lazy ass Samoan. He goes in. You know, and with that. Ah. I do like that in this game they didn't make him do the marching and stuff because it is a nice-looking move to yeah. just use. And what they said was uh, this is when, like, they got all that stuff when they first debuted, mm -hmm. which is why Antonio has black trunks and there's just certain stuff that they don't have. It's because they already had these guys in the works a long time ago. Yeah. But, like, like as a move, though, I do like this in here because even just, it does look, it's a fun yeah. move to give to certain people. Like, it looks good. Yeah, and, and for, like, a powerhouse, it's good, but it's it's not a finisher. It's never a finisher. It doesn't look like a finisher. Even when Ryback does yeah. it, it doesn't look like a finisher. Yeah, but no, um, it's, I definitely, like, I am glad it's in here as a move to use, though. I, I do DDP's think. Diamond Bomb. Yes, uh, yeah, like three moves in a row here of DDP. Yeah. The Diamond Clash, which, by the way, All or nice. came out, like, came out before, which is why the Diamond Clash sounds like the Styles Clash. Because Styles 
I'm assuming, kind of, you know, took it. And he took it in his own way, as you can see. That's just a bit your basic pancake. Mm -hmm. uh, diamond cutter. It's I, nice to have more cutters. I love, the, RKO I love the diamond cutter, the bubba cutter, the cutter, the mm -hmm. ace crusher, whatever. I, I like the... I like this, and I, I enjoy it more so than I do the RKO. Even though that's also a beautiful And the counter. RKO is nice a lot. Um, here's some discus close, the discus clothesline combo, which, I mean, I like a little bit, and this is uh, DDP's. Mm -hmm. uh, so, obviously, he's not like the, the fast, a lot, a, a, you know, a speedy type character, but I wish maybe they would have made it slightly faster with the discus just because it doesn't look like there's enough impact to it. I like this, the Uso crossbody that came out. This is part of DLC 3, and there's no pin to it, but it has a good connection. When you can get it, I feel like it's glitched. I do, too. I miss with it a lot. Um, like it's off, it's Jordan and I great. both have it on our uh, Creator Wrestler, and I think I put it on some of the other Cruiserweights. And, but when you hit it, it's beautiful. When I hit it, I hit it on the outside mm. at one point. It just looks phenomenal. Also hit it diving over my head. <laughs> Irish whip the guy. Oh, yeah, you. that was nice, too. <laughs> That, that's kind of why I wish there was a pin to it, because that would have been nice. This mm -hmm. double arm lock salt. Been there for a while, I don't know why I the like salt. It. It's deal, part of DLC 1. It was Rikishi's. Um, I love it. It looks yeah. hurt, hurtful. It's a belly-to-belly -belly suplex. Well, because in this move, you're trying to make sure your arms don't break and not even protecting your back, yeah, right? so you just take full force. The, this part of DLC pack 3, face scrub. How nice, nice disrespectful. To to assholes and powerhouses. Yeah, like, just how disrespectful is that? And then elbow, mm -hmm. just for good measure. Add injury to the insult. Uh, Scotty too hotty. It's an okay face crusher. With the it's face crusher. A flair to it, basically. Yeah. This is part of uh, DLC 3. Mm -hmm. no, um, call, they call it a face buster, but they have the, the chest get injured. And I can see why the chest would be the where you take the damage, but then don't call it a face, face yeah, buster. Call it chest buster. <laughs> yeah. It's a lung blower, essentially. Here is Scotty's setup face crusher into the worm. We'll see the worm later. This is part of DLC 2. I think this was uh, AJ Lee's yeah. drop kick. Either way, it looks really good for if you ever missed those drop kicks that they had in like uh, SmackDown vs. Raw 2006. Fujiwara Armbar, our first breaking point submission, and it's it nice was... that they added it, but I was kind of hoping for the step over version. Uh, yeah, I like I like what it is. I, I think... like it too. Yeah, I'm, well, because the armbar, I didn't realize it until this. They have the armbar in here, but not as like a struggle. Like it's just. Yeah, a but they, they have the, the, and they have the crucifix armbar. But yeah, they had this, and I think they just yeah. turned it into here. They also had the tilt a whirl armbar. Yeah. That uh, but La, I like just having, La like, Mystica, oh. La Mystico, sorry, um, who people know as Sin Cara. He, you know, did the tilt the world version into a Fujiwara armbar. Yeah, and that's nice to have, but and so not I think they did it. Cruiserweight that does martial arts. Exactly. So they just made it. They, you know, went here. Yeah. And then, um, who was it that it was? Uh, Bobby Roode did this a few times before he won the belt. So I think that might be why they decided to throw it in there. Yeah. Um, Future Shock. I was. It, I, I like this the move. Future Shock 2 is definitely in my arsenal. I love this one. Yeah, and uh, it's in Baxter's also. I you guys don't know who we're talking about. but I, I, like, I, like, I wish, too, because uh, the Japanese wrestling game we got, All-Star Pro, um, there's the guy that does that move as a finisher into like a guillotine choke, like a dragon mm -hmm. sleeper, and I thought that was amazing as well. <laughs> Gouging for some more of your asshole cause that came out in DLC Pack 3. And all these ones that we say went to assholes slash powerhouses all went to one of two people in my <laughs> list. <laughs> the Gord Buster. Standard Gord Buster. By the way, Gord Buster. Gord, your dome. And yet, every time, they say that it hurts the, the chest. And it does. But it's the way that you, you can place them. Down. You're sub Like, the way that they... If they call it a Gord Buster, they're supposed to drop them... Bust gourds. <laughs> ...with the impact on their face. Here's a gut wrench Gut Buster. I love this. this all, Lifting yeah, this them up, and move. then just... Boom, and let's uh, let's take a look right it's over those here. Moves you see it in the game, and you're like, I'm going to start doing that in real life. Because yeah, it's just it so just, cool. Bam! It's so simplistic, but yeah, that just looks painful and pretty. Here we go, like Antonio. Yeah, <laughs> Antonio Cesaro's. Another move I like. I wish. A lot. I, I once again, I, uh, more. I wish. Um, maybe next year we will see it on the ground because he lifts yeah. them up from the ground to show his power. I would like to see oh. both though, because I do like it like this. Because even I use it in the game, and it doesn't look like a powerhouse move when oh, you yeah. use it, which is nice. But yeah, I, they should have the authentic. And one it also. shows a little bit, of, like it shows a little bit of your power when you do it like this. And especially the, you know, if you're just putting on like a big guy who just, I, he flails. Mm -hmm. 
I didn't notice the way that he just flails so yeah, much. I, I don't know it they, looks like a little dude is being picked up. I don't up. know if they do that when I use it in the game. Maybe they do, but like I know like, suplex it always looks slightly different when you're littler, so maybe like... And then an, uh, an ode to Roderick Strong right here. Half Nelson backbreaker, which looks really nice. Mm -hmm. I like the way the guy sells it. Any kind of half Nelson slam always looks bad, though. <laughs> just yeah. The way that land, that's probably the safest way to go, land uh, one of those. I think this came out in... This was the original, because that was the, yeah, this uh, gold was, dust. Yeah, and uh, it's got that... Uh, the play. ravishing Rick Rude neck breaker. The hip hop drop takes a little bit to set up. There's what I like here is that you can use this for anybody because there's no theatrics to it. Like what I thought, I thought there was gonna be like over theatrics. Yeah, I know what you're uh, talking about. That ruins because it's uh, Scotty, not Scotty too hardy. Grandmaster Sex Ace finisher. Mm -hmm. They did that with a lot of like the they never added stuff. their. Uh, the, I love the the impaler in Gangrel. Yeah. Also the which uh, is which was DLC pack two yeah. three one yeah and that kind of has the one. same nice thing as the downward spiral has in this game they both just have that same fluid impact that I really like about those two moves so those were things they captured well one of the running moves or Irish whip rebounds mm -hmm. in the thing was uh, Gangrel's jumping clothesline there which looks really nice yeah it's nice clean Kamora lock another one we knew it was coming uh, yeah I'm glad it's in there because I like to have a little bit more of the submission holds. I guess that gives some different uh, angles to the <laughs> the pain to it. This one's I'm really yeah I'm really glad this move is in here. I was glad when Brock Lesnar debuted this move. I was so happy because I'm like it's specifically because I told Derek when it happened it's gonna be in WWE 13. And then when it originally didn't, I was mad until I saw that they said they were bringing it out because I would have been I would have not bought this game if they'd have been like we know Brock Lesnar did it a bunch of times, but you're not getting that move. One more time. I like this knee drop. I really like it. too. Damian Sandow's has just got some. One Some of the problems I have with the ground moves, though, is there's a lot of them I really like, but they, they end up stacking on the same spot. Like, a lot of the head moves, I feel like maybe you should get a couple more options for the head because that's where I want all of my moves to go. Yeah. Lifting single underhook or bloody Sunday right there. Prince Divot's Ugh. finisher. It is it is hurt, and it should it should damage the neck because it's technically a brain buster. Yeah, that looks like it should damage your existence. Um, <laughs> for those who didn't get to see it, uh, it's on YouTube, and I don't know how long it'll be, but Wrestle Kingdom 7, where he uh, Prince Divot took on Loki and a... Oh, God, I can't think of him. There was a lot of matches that night. It was tr a triple threat, and uh, Prince Divot actually hit this from the top rope. Really sick. You should check it out. If you've never seen Prince Divot, you're on YouTube right now. Go find him. <laughs> the Lion's Salt. I like the Lion's Salt. I love it, the Lion's Salt. I don't like this one. It oversells it in this game. We, uh, we, just had, we have an issue. Bruce? Fell asleep. Your hard drive. 